Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, today uh, we proceed with the rate of change. Okay, this is the topic under the application of differentiation. Okay, first of all, in this topic, when we want to deal with the rate of change, okay, we, it is relative to the time. Okay, relative to the time. What does it mean by that? Simple example. Let's say, uh, there is a balloon. Okay, this is the original size of the balloon. Okay, the original size of the balloon. For example, let's say the radius of the balloon, the original size is 3 cm. And then the volume of the balloon the, in the original size is, let's say, for example, 50 cm cube. And then, I want to blow the balloon. Okay, I want to blow the balloon. Then the size will change. It, be, it becomes bigger. Let's say, this is the new, the new size of the balloon. Okay, how long? How long do, do I need to blow the balloon? Let's say uh, the process taken over here is one minute. Okay, one minute from the original size. I blow the balloon for one minute. Then this is the, after the, uh, the balloon was blown. Okay, okay, now if you look over here, there is a changes happen in terms of the radius and the volume. Okay, if you look over here, the original length of the radius is 3. After that, when the balloon becomes bigger, the radius change. This is the length of the radius after 1 minute. Okay, after 1 minute. This is after 1, after one minute. Okay, after 1 minute. This is the size of the of the balloon. Okay, now the question is if I want to know if I want to know when I blow the balloon, okay, when I blow the balloon in terms of second, okay, second, 1 minute 60 second. Okay, 1 minute is equal to 60 second. I want to know what is the rate of change of the radius of the balloon? Here, yeah. what is the rate of change of the radius of the balloon in one second? What does it mean by that? It means that after first second, first second, third, fourth, and so on, we know that the size of the radius and the volume increase. Correct? Okay. Now the question is, it increase how much increment? Okay. That's what does it mean by the rate of change of the radius okay so based on this one if i want to know what is the rate of change of the radius in one second in one second how to write down so the r over dt why do i use dr over dt dr dr is represent for the the difference in in the radius dt is represent for the time okay how to interpret this one this is the change happen in radius over one second okay over one second it, it means that in one second how much how much increment happen in the radius so the way to write dr over dt try to guess for the volume if I want to know what is the rate of change happen in the volume of the balloon. So how to represent? We represent by dv over dt. You see, this is dr over dt. This is dv over dt. dv over dt meaning that the change happen in the volume in one second. For this case okay because this is after one minute so in one second 
what is the rate what is the volume change in terms uh, in the balloon okay what is the volume change in the balloon okay now let's say in our previous okay another example in this rate of change before before we proceed to the IGCS equation okay there is one thing that you need to remember in our previous class I told you about the chain rule correct about the chain rule chain rule if you still remember in order okay in order to apply the chain rule okay you need to use the something like this okay this is in our previous previous uh, class okay chain rule equation dy dx is equal to dy du multiplied by du dx correct this is chain rule in our previous previous subtopic okay what is the relation between the chain rule and the rate of change okay the rate of change is the must be related with the time okay so how to relate the let's say we take this example dv over dt okay how to relate this dv over dt with the chain rule okay so using the chain rule formula okay in order to represent dv over dt okay if you make comparison this is dy over dx now i've changed to with dv over dt this is volume this is time if you notice in chain rule dy over du du over dx this du and this du when we simplify when we simplify we'll get dy and dx correct same goes to this rate of change if you want to find the equation for dv over dt it must be dv over something multiply something over dt okay dv over something multiply something over dt okay now the the question is what is the thing that you need to fill up right over here it depends on the question okay it depends on the question for my question over here i use the example of the balloon okay this v is represent for the volume what is the formula of the volume of the sphere 4 over 3 pi r cube okay so this is the volume of the sphere if you look the equation over here if you look the equation over here if i want to differentiate if i want to differentiate v equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube i will get dv over dr correct dv over dr so by using this formula i will modify my dv over dt equation over here okay so dv over something multiplied by something over dt so based on this one okay try to make relation so dv over dt is equal to dv over dr multiplied by dr over dt how do i know i must put dr over here and dr over here okay one thing you can identify from the formula look the variable that they use if they use v and r it becomes dv dr it depends on the question actually okay it depends on the on the question okay what if another example let's say i have uh, one shape let's say like this okay this is the the rectangle okay this is the rectangle for the rectangle okay for the rectangle if 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 you look the rectangle 
let's make it 3d becomes a something like this okay box you see this is a box okay for this box okay for this box if the question asks you find what is the rate of change in terms of the volume of the box okay in terms of the volume of the of the box so volume of the box we know that we must find dv over dt okay so our equation will be dv over something multiplied by something over something over dt okay now the problem is what is the thing that you need to fill over here okay so in order to know that what you need to do is you need to know what is the formula for the volume of this box okay volume of this box usually in the question they will provide you the information over here how much here how much here and how much is here okay this is just rough idea rough idea how to relate the rate of change with the chain rule okay okay now let's see the question let's start with question number one question number one it says that a square of area a centimeter square has a side of length x cm given that the area is increasing at the constant rate of 0 0.5 centimeter square per second find the rate of increase of x when a equal to 9 okay how to answer this one okay first of all solution if you want to make it easy what you can do is for this question number one you can sketch the shape okay what is the shape involved over here square shape so this is uh, the square okay they say this is the square it says that the side is x so which is this is x and this is also will be will be x okay and then if you read the question okay if you read the question this question deal with the side of the length which is x and also the area a so the variable involved over here is a and x a and x okay now it says that given that the area is increasing the area is increasing at the constant rate area is increasing at the constant rate so what does it mean by this part area is increasing at constant rate so for this part it shows that this is represent dA over dt because it mentioned the area okay what is the value of dA over dt 0 0.5 look over here 0 0.5 okay find the rate of increase of x find the rate of increase of x what does mean by the rate of increase of x meaning that we need to find what is dx over dt this is the thing that we are looking for dx over dt okay how to answer this one okay first of all i will list down the information over here i know that dA over dt is equal to 0 0.5 is given in the question then what about dx over dt dx over dt is unknown we don't know what is dx over over dt okay okay now like i explained previously this rate of change must be related with the chain rule okay first of all what you need to know is try to figure out what is the formula involved in this question number one it mentioned about the area of the square what is the formula of the area of the square based on this square the side is x so the area of the square you need to derive by yourself okay so the area is equal to 
x multiplied by x which is x square okay this is the formula of the area of this square okay x multiplied by x so this is the formula a equal to x square why do you need to know about this formula you need to use it after this okay okay look carefully i want to know what is the x over dt first i need to create the equation of the rate of change first so let's say da over dt is equal to da over something multiply by something over dt correct okay da over something multiply by something over dt what is the thing that we need to fill up over here and over here look the formula over here i have a and x okay when i want to differentiate this area formula i will get da over dx correct so automatically over here i put da over dx and i put here dx over dt you see this dx over dt dx over dt this is the thing that we are looking for okay now substitute what is da over dt in the question given it says that 0 0.5 what is da over dx how to know da over dx you need to differentiate this so differentiate da over dx we will get 2x okay then multiply by dx over dt so dx over dt is the thing that we are looking for dx over dt okay now after this what you need to do is you need to substitute the value of x over here how to know what is the value of x that we must we must insert there is no information provided in the question about x okay don't worry we have this it says that a equal to 9 okay when a is equal to 9 you can get x how just substitute inside this area formula okay substitute a inside the formula so it's going to be when a is equal to 9 okay when you substitute inside the formula so 9 is equal to x square so your x is equal to square root of 9 equal to 3 okay so that's how I found my x. And then, after that, when I got the value of x, I just substitute. So 0 0.5 is equal to 3 multiplied by 2, 6. 6 in bracket dx over dt. Rearrange make dx over dt as a subject. So dx over dt is equal to 0 0.5 divided by 6. So you get 1 over 1 over 12. So this is our answer. What is the unit for the rate of increase of x? So x is represented for the side. So the unit is cm per, per second. Okay. 1 over 12 cm per second. Is it clear? Okay. Now, let me tell you something. Actually, okay, actually, when you want to do the chain rule, there is another alternative way. This is not the only way. There is another alternative way. Okay, I will show you. Okay, let's call this is method number one. Okay, method number number one. Okay, I will show you the second method. Method number two. Okay, the second method. Okay, if you look method number one, my chain rule for the rate of change over here, dA over dt is my subject, correct? Okay, now, there is another way. If you don't want to make dA over dt as a subject, what can you do? Look the question. We are looking for dx over dt. I can make dx over dt as my subject. No problem. Dx over dt is equal to what? 
dx over something multiplied by something over dt. Okay, dx over something multiplied by something over dt. But the problem is, what is the thing that you need to put over here and over here? We know that the variable involved in this question is only a and x. So, automatically, I will put over here dx over dA multiplied by dA over dt. Compared to this one, this is dA over dx. But this is dx over dA. It is flip. Correct? Okay, now, if you want to use the second method, if you want to use the second method, what you need to, what you need to do is, be careful when you want to find the dx over dA. Okay, when you want to find dx over dA, this dx over dA is coming from the original formula for the area is this, correct? A equal to x square. When we differentiate, we get dA over dx. Okay, now, we want dx over dA. What you need to do is rearrange this formula, make x as a subject. So, when x is a subject, so it becomes square root of A, correct? Okay, now when we differentiate this one, we will get this, dx over dA. Understand? So it depends on how you manipulate the formula. Okay? If you have a dx over dA, make sure your x is a subject. If you use dA over dx, make sure your a is a subject. This one. Okay? So, for this, for this case, I can do directly. What is dx over dA? Differentiate. So it's going to be half a the power of negative half multiplied by dA over dt which is 0 .0 0 0.5. What is a? a is the area. Do we know what is the area? Yes. a is 9 here. a is 9. Just put inside here directly. If you compare with the previous question, you need to find your x, correct? You substitute a inside here. Then you get your x. But for this second method, a just choose directly. So half substitute 9 the power of negative half multiplied by 0 0.5. You use your calculator, you will get the same answer, which is 1 over 12 C ampere second okay you see i show you two different method so it's up to you which one you uh, you feel you feel uh, easy to use okay it depends on your creativity second question question number two <clears throat> the volume the volume of sphere balloon a spherical ball the radius is given then the formula is 4 over 3 pi r cube given that the radius increasing ah, okay you see this word radius is increasing at the rate okay radius is increasing so meaning that the information write down directly so dr over dt which is 1 over pi here find the rate at which volume is increasing so this is the rate of the volume that we need looking for we need to look okay so the v over dt is equal to what okay dv over dt is equal to what so what is the formula given over here this is the formula of the volume okay 4 over 3 pi r cube so let's list down over here the volume given 4 over 3 pi r cube. So I want to know what is dv over dt. So let's create the formula first. What is the variable involved over here? v and r. So dv over something multiplied by something over dt. What is the variable? Variable r. So use dv dr. So dr dt. <clears throat> Where to get dv over dr? You need to differentiate this. Okay. Differentiate 4 over 3 pi r cube. You will get, you bring uh, power go down. 
power minus 1. So it's going to be 4 pi r square only. Okay. Then multiply by dr over dt. Given 1 over pi. Okay. Then if you look over here, don't leave your answer like this. You need to evaluate. Before you evaluate, you need to know what is the your value of R. Here, we don't know what is the value of R. The questions give only volume. Volume is 288 pi. So, how to find R? Substitute this inside here. Okay, substitute. Volume is equal to 288 pi. So, when volume is equal to 280 pi you substitute inside the formula okay when you substitute you will get something like this 288 pi is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube okay so you rearrange so this is pi this is pi cancel so you rearrange you make r as a subject you will get r equal to 6 after you know what is your value of R, then you substitute. So dv over dt is equal to 4 pi in bracket 6 square multiplied by 1 over pi. So the answer is equal to 144. Okay, 144. This is the volume the rate of change in the volume dv over dt next question question number three okay question number three okay this is simple one variable x and y connected by the equation y equal to 3x minus 1 ln x given that x increase at the rate x increase if the moment you see this keyword Directly label this is the x over dt. X increase at the rate of 3 units per second. What is the rate of increase of y when x equal to 1? So this is the y over dt. Okay, so let's answer this question. So list down. All the information that given, so dx over dt is equal to 3. dy over dt is the one we need to find. Okay. Okay. What is the equation first? Okay. You need to be, uh, how to say, flexible in create the equation. So dy over dt is equal to dy over something multiplied by something over dt so obviously this is the equation involved y and x so it becomes dy over dx dx over dt okay so this is the ch the chain rule okay then Find what is dy over dx. Okay, now if you look over here, in order to find what is dy over dx, be careful. This is two split functions, two different functions. 3x minus 1 is u. Lone x is v. Product rule. Use product rule in order to find dy over dx. So, let's use product rule. So, big bracket. v du dx. So it becomes 3 ln x plus u dv dx. 3x minus 1 over x. Okay. So for this part, you need to do one by one. v du dx plus u dv dx. And then multiply dx over dt. What is dx over dt? 3. Okay, now if you look the question, we have the variable x over here. And then, it says that x equal to 1. 
substitute 1 inside here. So, 3 ln 1 plus 3 minus 1 over 3 multiplied by 3. Lone 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So, for this one, when you multiply, so this is 2, 2 times 3. So, 6 unit per second. Very simple. Just like that. Just be careful when you want to find this part. dy over dx. Okay. I repeat again. This is v. This is du dx. This is u. This is dv dx. 1 over x. Okay. So the answer is 6 unit per second. So that's all uh, for rate of change. I want you to do the practice in the textbook. See the word example in the textbook. And also I want you to try to do more past year paper question. Okay. And then be well prepared for upcoming tests for this topic. Okay. So we stop over here. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.